एवढं पाठी बघा सारखं पाहिजे तुम्ही हॅलो एंड वेलकम ऑल टू द एडु टॉक 2.0.12 एंड टुडे वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट शी इज वन ऑफ द ग्लोबल टीचर प्राइज टॉप 50 अवार्ड इज फ्रॉम टर्की एंड आई नाउ कम टू मिस्टर जीवन सर फॉर द इंट्रोडक्टरी रिमार्क्स जीवन सर इट्स ओवर टू यू ओके थैंक यू सर हाय हेलो हाय हाय एंड गुड इवनिंग टू इंडिया हेलो यस यस प्लीज एंड ऑल ऑफ वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस टुडे सेशन ऑफ एक्टिव टीचर महाराष्ट्र एंड निशंक इंडिया प्रेजेंट कम्युनिकेशन विथ स्टूडेंट पेरेंट्स एंड टीचर फॉर टीचिंग लर्निंग इन द टाइम्स ऑफ कोरोना टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन ऑथिजम एंड सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड वी हैव अ जी टी पी प्राइज टीचर ayur pam turki so far that i hand over the session to nadim sir thank you yeah thank you very much sir so let me introduce you to ayanur first uh, miss ayanur bayazid born and brought up in kirese in central turkey ayanur graduated from selçuk university kindergarten teaching department in 2001 she is working at menes ahmed Yalçinkaya Kindergarten since 2015 her school is for students with a special subclass and autism she has prepared the european union erasmus plus project this project was the beginning of a success story she attended an educational event in the autism sector in seville spain along with several teachers from her school she then started the project my special friend एजुकेशनल मटेरियल एंड टॉयज फॉर एजुकेशन टू डेज अ वीक फोर अवर्स अ वीक विथ स्टूडेंट फैमिलीज यूजिंग ग्रेम the skill acquisition rate of the students increased from 20% to 19% undesirable behavior declined and participation in social events increased to 95% her study was awarded the regional innovation in education award in 2017 with the little ahlar is learning their values project which was launched by her she wrote 10 story books and she wrote it for the student families and teachers about their love respect responsibility cooperation and sharing it was performed by the trt you must be knowing the turkish radio and television in corporation and state theater artist she sent books and voices to 136 schools in 81 provinces and schools and libraries in countries like romania georgia and belgium for free she delivered books and voices to as large as 5250 children she has organized fairy tale workshops for thousands of students there she also prepare she also prepares the costumes of the story books and organizes many kindergarten and theater festivals involving hundreds and thousands of students she has also done fairy tale events for the orphans and that's a very noble work She also prepared a robotic coding and mind games workshop for schools and produced your dream dream project accepted by the Ailer Development Agency. It will begin to bring to school for the first time in Microsoft Hololens Turkey. She established the game therapy class and trained to the teachers with the Back to Tomorrow project prepared for the Konya Plane Development Agency. She organized activities in order to gain the habit of reading. pre school reading in his in a school and province working for development agency she prepared technical support projects creative drama and fairy tale narration game therapy fairy tale therapy language and speech therapy robotic coding and mind games nine recommended temperament models non violent communication use training of our gifted student certified trainers so she has done a lot of work in this area and i have i haven't seen any teacher doing this range of work for 
students with autism. She has been nominated for the Global Teacher Prize Award among 12,000 teachers in 73 countries by AKS Founded Education. She is among the top 50 teachers of the world yeah. panelists established by the Warki James Foundation Global Teacher Award Committee. And we all know that this committee was earlier presided by former US President Bill Clinton. So we are very happy to have you, Ayanur, here. And today with Ayanur, we also have Yunus, uh, who will be uh, with us as a translator to Ayanur, and Ayanur speaks Turkish language. So it's, uh, let's begin with the first question. Uh, my first question to you is, uh, when did this thought of becoming a teacher for the students with autism stuck to your mind? When did it first came to your mind? Ben bu okula geldiğimde otizmli öğrencilerle karşılaştım ve eğitim hayatım boyunca hiç otizmli öğrenciyle tanışmamıştım. Onların öfke nöbetleri ve kendilerini kontrol edememelerinden kaynaklı bir Avrupa Birliği projesi hazırladım. İspanya'ya gittim. Oradaki eğitim modelinden hareketle okulun dezavantajlı bir bölgede olduğu için onlara yetersiz olan eğitici materyal ve oyuncak üretmek için bir şey kurdum, atölye kurdum. Yani bu okula gelinceye kadar aslında hiç otizmlerle çalışma gibi bir şeyim yoktu ama o öğrencilerin, ailelerin mağduriyeti ve yardıma muhtaç olmalarından kaynaklı bu projeleri hayata geçirdim. Ama ben bir sunum yapmak istiyorum. Hocam bunu da söylersen eğer. First of all, it was really interesting for me because uh, as far as I have been in the sector for about 19 years, but it was the first time that I have come uh, with the idea that to work with such students three years ago when I started as a managing director in my school where I am working now. And when you start working with those children, you see some different type of behaviors and manners rather than the one that you are used to. So uh, seeing that we have prepared an Erasmus Plus project to be applied in Spain about temper management of autistic children. So that was the first time we do some activity regarding those children. And the change that I have seen by implementing those techniques and methods with our students with the children and with the parents, it was unbelievable. So although the idea was that those children are not really capable of learning, which after our studies has changed already because the things that have uh, changed since they, we started working with them was a great change, which made me happy because that is out of my expectations, which is not I'm accustomed to when I'm working with the students. So it was three years that I worked with them already. And it is nice to see uh, that there are some chances that we can manage, we can teach, and we can change those students as well, although they have those disadvantages. By the way, uh, Ms. Bayezid wants to present a presentation. Yes, uh, yes. I think it's a PowerPoint, so is it okay to share the screen? Yes, I was going to request you to probably start with your presentation. Okay. So uh, let's start with the presentation then. Yes. Okay. Soon I'm going to get my note. I can file a shoot. Ekranım görünüyor mu? Evet, şu an başladım. Yes, it's visible. F5 ya, F5 ya. Tamam mı? Yes. Evet, şu an görüyoruz. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Aynur Bayezid. In uh, 2019, I was elected as one of the global teachers held by India 
Also, I got the Global Teacher Prize within the top 50 finalists in the world. I have been working as a preschool teacher at Menekşahmet Yalçınkaya Kindergarten in Turkey. My people is five years old. My school is in a socio-economic and culturally disadvantaged area. Students' families are also very poor. Moreover, there are autistic and disabled students at the school. As teacher and the head of the school, I have been working through the projects and social responsibility studies related to students from kindergarten and with autism spectrum. I dedicated myself to my students and parents with autism because they were despaired to be excluded from schools and society. And we know that autism is tratable. I guided parents who were disabled to send them to schools and contributed to access and equality in education. Since my autistic students training materials are not enough. I set up my special friends. This workshop is for you. After each lesson, I produce material for linguistic, mental and psychomotor development for my autistic students. We produce materials and toys and the workshop for students which we established with the parents for two days a week for four hours. The materials we prepared were the ones to contribute my students daily life and hand skills such as doing up, shoelace, but donning up, zipping, mental cognitive skills such as puzzle and matching and rhythm and music skills development. I used educational materials and toys that we made with parents in our workshop for class activities. Education materials toys are in glasses. The skill acquisition rate of students who were mentally and handicapped unable to speak and did not want to communicate at the beginning of school was here from 20% to 90% using this. Environment behavior has decreased and participation in social events has increased to 95%. The methodological approach in this study was based on the knowledge that children's autism might cause them difficulties in social interaction and communication. With individual methodology in the process of the project, we tried to apply some techniques of using simple and concrete language, given limited clear shows being gentle in criticism, applied behavior analysis solving sensory problems, discrete thrill teaching and therapies of sensory integration, auditory integration, music, art and drama for students with autism spectrum. In recent years due to the decline in the reading habits of the young, Generation Learn Curiosity in Turkey. I begin the work of the little Ahiler learn their values considering the inadequacy of books. Read to kindergarten and primary school scarcity and printed publication in Turkey, where the rate of reading is zero or one and being a big problem, especially in disadvantaged schools that are needed a step upon a book project. Also, we wanted students to create a positive tendency on learning. 
In the workshop, we continued our work with a dem of 12 students consisting of the parents and teacher of the students. We wrote 10 storybook about the feeling of love, respect, solidarity, and sharing empathy two days a week. Our stories were voiced by famous sound artists in the study studio for students with vision impairment. I organized 11 fairy tale workshop with 250 children into two days to get more students for meeting our stories in our city. I prepared the customs of the stories I wrote. Then I organized the little brothers are learning their values theater festival. Seven kindergartens in my town joined. 150 students acted out our seven stories on the stage. I organized fair tale time to tell the orphans with my stories. They listen our voice and play them in customs. I am making drama with orphans once a month. I reached these books to 136 school poor and disadvantage free of charge. I sent my books and voiceovers to Georgia, Romania and Belgium. I reached 5,400 children with my project in, uh, I, I started in 2017. Uh, creative thinking, create your dream project. When I started working at this school, there was only an old computer. With my project, I established the robotic coding workshop for my school and three village school. It is the first time that I was able to bring Microsoft HoloLens at my city. Preparing robotics and coding with my students and software with HoloLens from students of the university. In my school, Immigrant children, their parents are separated and the number of orphans is very high. I set up play therapy rooms for my schools and three disadvantaged schools like me to learn and support the problems my students experience. I got game therapy training with my teacher friends. In the therapy room, I learned their problems and tried to support them. One of the biggest projects I have ever experienced was most of a life center. With this project, I established a center in a very small settlement women and children called use and make use of trains. In the center, there is an art workshop, mental games workshop, music workshop, and cinema. To be able to support my 250 college, get certified, training on fairy tale workshop, drama, speech and language, therapy, non-violent communication, STEM, coding, autism, education of gifted students, and provided these trainings by receiving grant support. With my friends, I get it from 81 province of Turkey. I have published four books, been editor and coordinator in two books so far. Also, I have tales in two books. I granted the income of the book, Mad Tales to the Abundant Children. I was I was awarded with the Global Teacher Award among 12,000 teachers into 73 countries by AKS Education, which has 
representatives in my, uh, many countries organized in India. Uh, on 15th of September, I took my award at the ceremony in New Delhi, which is the capital of capital city of India. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ayanur, for your presentation. And uh, in the short presentation, we can see huge amount of work that you have done for the students, not just students having the ASD, that autism spectrum disorder, but students having ASD, but who are orphans, as well as who are underprivileged, or we can say the abandoned students. Uh, now, my uh, next question is, rather that is a curiosity, after seeing your presentation, I could see the use of arts like the fairy tales, the theatres, the music, the drama was in a very good number in your all methodology. So how do you think, uh, how far is art important for the students? Sizin yaptığınız çalışmalara baktığımda bu diğer dallardaki sanat, müzik, işte hikaye bu tarz çalışmaların çok fazla bunaldığını gördüm. Bunların çocuklar üzerindeki etkisi nasıldı bir yani ve bunu nasıl başardınız? E, otizmli çocuklar müziği çok seviyorlar, ritmi çok seviyorlar ve dramayı çok seviyorlar. Bunu e, sevdiğini bildiğim için, gözlemlediğim için e, bu etkinlikleri, daha doğrusu bu metodolojiyi e, sınıf etkinliklerinde kullanmak istedim. E, ve yaptığım materyaller de hep e, bu şekilde oldu. E, yani bir şey öğretmek için daha çok dramayı, müziği kullandım. Çocukların dil becerisini geliştirmek için drama ve müziği kullandım. E, bu şekilde bir metodoloji geliştirdim ve hani e, ilk başta e, iletişim kurmak istemeyen, konuşmak istemeyen arkadaşlarıyla e, işte uyum sağlayamayan ya da e, yani doğru davranış gösteremeyen çocukların bu davranışlarında yüzde yirmiden yüzde doksana bir e, artış olduğunu gözlemledim ve materyallerimi bu yönde geliştirmeye başladım. E, bu metodolojiyi ben kendim geliştirdim. Okay, first of all, what we have to keep in mind that uh, working with a student who has not got any disadvantage is easy for us because we don't need so much materials to get their attention, but when you are working with autistic children, you have to keep in mind that they have other perception methods to learn. That is the music, arts, or the other type of the artistic things. So well, when I started, uh, I tried to get their attention through using music or the drama methods to make them in a way to be compiled in the education system or education model that I have been trying. The, th the good thing was that because there's an unusual method that we are using with them, it really worked because the, the first thing okay, you need to do to train or educate those disadvantaged children, you have to make them a member of that learning community. And how you can imagine how difficult it is with those students. So this was First, when it came to my mind, I tried to combine them to use for those students. And as uh, I said, and as you have already seen in my presentation, it was really a great, uh, let's say, outcome that we have got from them, which really worked well. And it was also interesting that uh, they were expecting more. They were trying to learn more through the methods, through the, that way that we are using, which really worked well. So I'm happy to have found a channel that they can be communicating with. Thank you very much. And uh, you know, sir, I would request you also to switch on your video. When oh, you okay. I'm sorry, I, I thought this is it's okay. Okay, yeah. I think that's Thank fine you. now, sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, a lot of our teachers from Active Teachers Maharashtra they have also won many prizes and acclamations from the government uh, using the art integrated learning, that is use of arts in education. So they are also all praised for all this work being done by Ainur Ma'am. 
so it's a great and noble work so salute from all of the teachers here in india and we could see the last slide that was from delhi the qutub minar so my next question to you is uh, have you seen any difference between the students in your country and students in other parts of world like you are not just limited to turkey you are a teacher for students from romania belgium and other parts so is there any difference between the students of asd in all those countries allah da dem cevap diyeceğim hayran ya şimdi diyor ki hani e, hindistan'a da geldiniz gördük gayet hatta sonrasında da sunumun orada bizim öğretmenlerimiz de bu ödül alan hepsi çok güzel böyle e, kullanıyorlar bu anlamda yani eğitim materyallerini bizim buradaki çünkü kitlemiz çok büyük diyor. Şu anda idare ettiğimiz kitle de siz dinleyen kitle de bu anlamda çok geniş. Öncelikle sizden öğrenmek istediğimiz şu biz e, sadece Türkiye'nin sınırlarında kalmadığını, başka ülkelerle de çalıştığımız, Belçika'ya, Romanya'ya da çeşitli işte kaynaklar gönderdiğimizi gördük. Bu öğrenciler arasında bir fark gördünüz mü? Yani bir Türk ile yabancı öğrenciler arasında ya da bu burada gördüğünüz Türkiye dışında gördüğünüz öğrencilerde sizinkilere nazaran bir farklılık e, gördünüz mü? Metropolis olarak uygulanabilecek ya da nedir sizin için Türk öğrencileri var mı? Şimdi benim o Romanya'ya, Belçika'ya gönderdiğim mini kahiler derlerini öğreniyor kitabı e, işin açısı marif okullara gönderdim. Yani yine Türk öğrencilere gönderdiğim kitaplar. E, o açıdan bu farkı cevaplayamayacağım ama e, benim yaptığım çalışmalar hani şunu özellikle belirtmek istiyorum benim yaptığım çalışmaların hepsi e, aslında bir sorundan kaynaklı hani bir sorunuma çözüm üretmek çünkü dezavantajlı bir okuldayız ve imkanlarımız çok kısıtlı bu soruna çözüm üretmek için yaptığım çalışmalar ee, ama e, şimdi bir proje başladım ben böyle Zoom üzerinden bir görüşme gerçekleşti İstanbul'daki dezavantajlı öğrencilere gönderilmesiyle ilgili bir proje başlattım e, ve İngilizce kitap yazıp e, bunun seslendirmesini yapıp e, yani bu bölgedeki dezavantajlı öğrencilere göndereceğim bu sorunun cevabını ancak o zaman verebilirim Okay, first of all, I just want to mention that uh, the books that we have prepared for those foreign students were uh, meant to be sent to the Turkish students who are having education in other countries. And the topics were originally designed for them. So I really cannot give a very strict or very uh, broad vision of the students uh, in other countries. but. What I'm trying to do is now is now we are uh, preparing the English version of the books that I have presented before for to be sent to India. So in India, uh, my books will be in a way used in some parts of your uh, country as a tool for those disadvantaged students in English. And I'm sure I will have a broader vision of what could be the effects for those children who are having this uh, training and education them. And of course, uh, when it comes to the techniques that we are using, uh, although I don't have any idea what, how could it work with the foreign students other than Turkish ones, uh, it's something global that using arts, music and other things. The only, uh, let's say the disadvantage would be here having those books to be prepared in their own languages. And then I'm sure they will do the same job as they are doing here because we are talking about the age group of, let's say, uh, 10 or lower, which is their children and the children are all the same in all the parts of the world, excluding their skin color, what language they talk or anything that makes them different. Oh, they are all the same children who needs training, education, and assistance from us. Very well said, sir. We can't uh, uh, define or we can't segregate students in the borders. That's a very good thought. Uh, one thing, sir, uh, for uh, I know, ma'am, the question is: uh, communication is the first uh, barrier, or that can be the first stepping stone. So, how do you deal with these communication difficulties with? these autism uh, students 
En önemli konulardan biri biliyorsunuz yani son bu çarşı çocuklar iletişim kurmak diyor. Yani e, biz en çok bunu merak ediyoruz. Bu çocuklara nasıl iletişim kuruyorsunuz? Böyle dezavantajlı çocuklarla. Ee, okula ilk geldiği zamanlarda bu bir büyük bir problem. Çünkü göz kontağı kurmakta problem yaşıyorlar. Ama e, önce göz kontağı kurmakla başlıyoruz öğrencilere. Yani onun için geliştirdiğimizde bir teknik var. E, çocuğun sürekli başını kendimize çevirerek ve elini hani sürekli el hareketi yapıyor ve onu aşağı indirerek bana odaklanmasını sağlayarak bunu ve birkaç tekrardan sonra benimle göz kontak kurduktan sonra e, zaten algılamaya başlıyor. Sonra e, biz çocuk Bizim aslında en büyük problemimiz çocuk bize gelinceye kadar ot, yani otizm hangi alanı e, derecesi engel durumu ile ilgili hiçbir bilgiye sahip değiliz. Önce onu tanımakla zaman geçiyoruz. Keşke Avrupa ülkelerindeki gibi önce çocukla ilgili bilgiler bize gelse biz tanısak belki daha farklı bir metodoloji kullanacağız ama e, biz önce yaklaşık 2-3 ay gibi zamanımızı onu tanımak e, aileden bu bilgileri alıyoruz. Otizmle ilgili hani e, ne zamandan beri e, iletişim kurmuyor, göz kantağı kurmuyor, e, konuşmada hangi aşamada olduğunu öğreniyoruz. Önce e, çocuğun normal dışı davranışları, çünkü işte e, konuşamadığı için, iletişim kuramadığı için çok zorluk çekiyor çocuk. Önce iletişim kurmak için bir, iki, üç ayımızı onun için e, veriyoruz. Daha sonra konuşma kartları kullanıyorum ben. Yani onu e, yine biz öğretmen arkadaşlarımızla birlikte ürettik. O çocukların basit konuşma, yani günlük e, işte yaşam becerilerini geliştirmeye yönelik kartlardaki kelime, her gün kelime sayısına yeni kelime ekleyerek daha sonra e, dördüncü, beşinci ayın sonunda basit cümleler kurmasını sağlıyoruz. Ama öncelikle göz kontağı kurmadığı sürece iletişim kurma becerisini geliştirmesini e, maalesef hani sağlayamıyoruz. E, sonrasında da e, işte puzzle, yapboz gibi onların zihinsel gelişimlerini sağlayacak materyaller devreye gidiyor. Yani yine konuşma kartları devam ediyor ama aynı zamanda bunların zihinsel yetilerini de geliştirmek zorundayız. Sonra yaptığımız diğer kartlar, puzzle, yapboz, eşleştirme kartları bunlar devreye giriyor. Hem iletişim ve dil becerisi hem de zihinsel yetilerinin geliştirmeye yönelik materyallerle hani çocuk bize en fazla 3 sene geliyor. Şunu söyleyebilirim. Benim 5 tane öğrencim ilkokula. Bize geldiğinde hiç konuşamayan, iletişim kuramayan 5 tane öğrencim şu anda ilkokula başladı ve akranlarıyla birlikte işte okuma yazmayı öğrendi ve bir problem yok şu anda. I will translate all of them. I will try my best. Okay, first of all... Uh... Sir, you are getting compliments on Facebook for your translation. <laughs> yeah, we will see how it works. Okay. Uh, the first thing when we do, when we face with them is that uh, rather than those, let's say, European countries and the others, the, when a child comes to us first, they have never uh, occurred, they have never seen a teacher, they have never seen an uh, atmosphere that is about learning. So we are the first place where they learn or where they face with teachers. So the first thing that we have to do is to make them uh, understand that we are there as teachers trying to teach something. And you maybe you already know, or our listeners will already know that with the disadvantaged students, the autistic ones have that problem with the eye contact. So they can never look at your face. They try to do something else while you are focusing on them. So the main problem about their focusing problem. So our professional, because we have also uh, psychology uh, guides that are working with us. And we try to work with them, even holding their hand, their heads, looking directly at us, try to keep them focus at me. Now I'm telling something, please follow me. Even uh, with the help of other teachers, we try to have them to teach how to focus someone speaking, someone trying to teach something. And interestingly, that may take up to three months but that we try to make them focus on some really basic things because we are uh, really talking about those disadvantaged children. And secondly, this is the physical side, let's say, the focusing and other side. Then we focus on those intellectual side. 
We use this flashcards, we use matching cards and the other puzzle puzzles to make them to understand the process of what is the similarities, differences, how to connect the things and how to behave in the right way to give the right answers for the questions directed by those lecturers. So in our uh, curriculum, now normally we have like three years since they start with us, they will stay with us three years until they start the school. Because in Turkey, starting the age for the school is seven, maybe a half, six, let's say. And if they start at four, it will be like three years that they are together with us. So we spare this six months for them to how to get to be used to learning, how to focus, how to design, how to elaborate information and how to be in the environment of learning with other students and the teachers. That is really a great patience thing. Teachers must be patient because it's not like a normal student that is what you are telling and they are doing, no. It's an another process for the disadvantaged students to work uh, in this process of making them focus and learn something more. And uh, more interestingly, now some of our students already started uh, primary school. And now we are really surprised and happy to see that uh, five of our disadvantaged students are like the other students who are, uh, let's say, don't, who don't have any health issues like autism and other stuff, you cannot uh, say tell the difference between them because uh, thanks for those three years of preparation and effort that we do, now they can be a part of classroom like their peers in the classroom. That's how it works. So um, with the communication issues, I. Uh, we are trying our best with our guide teachers using first these focusing items and then the intellectual side by teaching them with those puzzles and other stuff, which takes about six months. Yeah, thank you very much. That's very comprehensive. Uh, what's your tip for the teachers of autism here in India? How to provide support? Uh, what will be your tip? Evet. Buradaki e, otistik öğretmenlerimize, yani otistik öğrencilere çalışan öğretmenlerimize nasıl destek olacağız diyor. Ne yapacağız? Onlara kaynak olarak mı yoksa bir fikir olarak mı? Belki öyle bir ne katkınız olur diye soruyor. E, yani videolarımı, materyallerimin görsellerini e, çocuklarla çünkü bu çocukların e, ailelerinden hani çocukların paylaşımıyla ilgili işin açıkçası çok fazla izin alamadığım için burada e, paylaşamıyorum herkesin huzurunda. Ama e, bir dosya, e, işte çocukların konuşmalarını, gelişimleriyle ilgili e, videolarımı ve materyallerimi paylaşabilirim. E, hatta hani gelecek sene biz Afrika'daki çocuklar için bu materyalleri yeniden e, yapacağız ve oradaki öğrencilere de göndereceğiz. Hindistan'daki öğrenciler için de bu materyalleri tasarlayıp yollayabiliriz. Ama şöyle bir durum var. Ben kendi öğrencilerimi tanıdıktan sonra materyalleri geliştirmeye başlıyorum. Bu atölye daha devam ediyor bizim okulda. Bize gelen öğrencinin gelişim özelliklerine uygun materyal. Ama bazı materyaller var ki ortak kullanılabiliyor. Bu ortak kullanılan materyalleri onlarla seve seve paylaşabilirim. Uh, you will be more than happy to be a person to be helping with other teachers. Uh, regarding the, this autistic children and the others. Uh, she just wanted to say that now uh, there are two types of sources that she's preparing. And uh, one is for specific for the children here in Turkey because the materials are produced accordingly and it, they are mostly specific for those students and the eight characters. But together with this, there are some other common materials that can be used for all those disadvantaged students in terms of handling and teaching them something. So uh, next year we will be preparing a new tool for the uh, students in Africa. And I will be more than happy to provide these materials uh, free of use, free of charge 
to share with our colleagues who wish to, uh, let's say, use in their own classrooms as uh, a tool. So they will be available in our, uh, I will share in a way she said, but I'm sure she has her own channels to share. And she will be happy to share the materials that they are producing this year as a curriculum material for common for all students and as a curriculum material specific for those children in Africa or maybe in India or in Turkey. And there will be uh, sections which will have how to handle the issue side step by step and uh, how to help those children uh, in terms of learning uh, atmosphere and need to, to be integrated in the curriculum for those very special students. So, uh, of course, uh, for, with the help of you, of course, ATN, she will be happy to share the materials that she's producing. Yeah, that will be very helpful for students here and the teachers here in India. And that's a very noble gesture by uh, Ayanur ma'am. Uh, next question is like just you mentioned that students uh, come to you and stay with you for say uh, three years or so. So how does the entire class grow together? So are there uh, are there different levels after three years or they grow together? Biz çok memnun oluruz diyor. Bu kaynaklarınızı bizimle de paylaşırsanız bizim ağımızda bunlar da yer alması biz çok mutlu edecektir. Siz üç yıl boyunca çocukla ilgilendiğinizi söylediniz. Bunların ayrımı nasıl? Yani birinci yıl, ikinci yıl, üçüncü yıl ayrı ayrı mı? Hepsini bir arada mı eğitiyorsunuz? Yani bunların sınıflamasını nasıl yapıyorsunuz? Size aynı öğrenci üç yıl gelince birinci, evet. üçüncü yıl olayını nasıl ayarlıyoruz? Evet. Ee, ben bir anaokulunda görevliyim. Ee, okulunda hem özel eğitim alt sınıf var hem de e, normal gelişim gösteren okul, önceleri, okul öncesi öğrencilerin bulunduğu sınıfta e, kaynaştırma öğrenciler var. E, bu özel alt sınıftaki öğrencilerin e, yani engel durumları ile kaynaştırma sınıfındaki öğrencilerin engel durumları birbirinden farklı. Yani aile isteği üzerine ve bizim okulumuzdaki eğitimin kalitesinden kaynaklı olarak veli 3 yıl boyunca yani 3 yaşından 6 yaşına kadar ilkokula başlama dönemine kadar otizm çünkü 2 yaşında fark edilen bir durum. E, fark ettikten sonra okul araştırmaya başlıyor veliler ve 3 e, yıl boyunca bizimle birlikteler. Hani çocuğun öğrenciden öğretmeninden kopmasını istemiyorlar. E, biz 3 yaşında çünkü erken yaşta gelmesinin de aslında birazcık avantajını kullanıyoruz. Bizde geldiğinde hiç konuşamayan bir öğrenciyle 3 yılda daha e, fazla yol alabiliyoruz. Hem konuşması açısından hem de e, takıntılı davranışları var otizmli öğrencilerin ve dönem dönem bu takıntılı davranışlara e, yenisi ekleniyor. Biz bu takıntılı davranışları e, hani normal gelişim gösteren davranışlarla değiştirmek için uğraşıyoruz. Yani e, nasıl e, günlük hayatta e, hem aileyi hem de çocuğu zor duruma sokacak takıntılı davranışlar. Mesela duysal bütünleme, yere yatma, işte, e, işte kulaklarını kapama, ritim sürekli ritim yapma. Bunlar takıntılı davranışlar ya da hareketli nesnelerden hoşlanma. Bu takıntılı davranışlarını işte farklı alanlara kanalize etmeyi. Mesela ritimde çocuğun bu şey takıntısını ne yapıyoruz? Ritim aletleriyle birazcık daha bu duygusunu doyurmaya çalışıyoruz ve bu takıntısından kurtulmasını sağlıyoruz. Ya da çocuğun vurma gibi bir davranışı var. İşte arkadaşına saldırma gibi bir davranışı var. Burada enerjisini atacak materyallerle çalışıyoruz. Duygusal bütünleme diyoruz bir o, biz bu olaya otizmde. Duygusal bütünleme çalışıyoruz. 3 e, yılın sonunda da e, hani e, Ağır otizmli yani hafif orta düzey diye geçiyor bizde gelen özel alt sınıftaki öğrenciler. Onlar günlük hayatta e, konuşma, e, tuvalet alışkanlığı, iletişim kurma e, bu davranışlarını e, geliştiğini gözlemliyoruz. Diğer kaynaştırma öğrencilerinde tamamen kaynaştırma raporlarından arınarak normal gelişim gösteren öğrencilerle birlikte bir ilkokula başlamasını sağlıyoruz. Yani iki grupta bizim öğrencimiz var. Okay. Uh, first of all, the students that we are having uh, are like when they start, they are like at the age of three, because most of the parents, the families will be recognizing that their children are autistic at the age of two or something. That's when uh, they realize that they are not speaking and they have that very habitual reflexes with their movements. That's why they start at the age of three and uh, when we have them in our school, we have, of course, different classifications because uh, 
not all the students have the same level of uh, disadvantage or these problems. That's why we just classify them, how to handle in the best way. First of all, when we start with the first ones, the main issue that we are focusing on is to uh, maintain that habitual reflexes into some kind of other, uh, let's say, movements to be changing, like having these rhythmics or keeping their hands on the table or looking at us in a very specific way that they can focus. So these are the basic things that we are trying when they first come with us. And of course, these are all combined with some of the curriculum activities and uh, let's say psychological uh, assistance by our teachers because the uh, students that we are dealing are not so many, of course. We, each year we will have like five students that we are dealing and we focus on them really well because they are together with us since uh, morning, starting from morning till noon. That's a long time to teach them to handle their issues with the very professional psychology teachers as well. And in the second year, our main uh, focus will be gaining uh, the speech uh, abilities. So they can uh, express themselves, they can use mimics in the right way to give the, to convey their messages and how to communicate with them. And then the fourth year, I mean third year, sorry, uh, main focus will be to make them to be prepared for the next level of education, which is primary school. Because uh, as we have mentioned before, Einar is a director at a kindergarten. And the student age group that she's dealing are uh, starting from three to six. And these three years is good enough to make those disadvantaged students according to the curriculum prepared by our professional psychologists, make them ready to learn with their peers in primary school. And of course, uh, that is something we have already experienced. So we have students who have started the primary school, which are implemented, I mean, which have those methods to be implemented on them during all three years. But of course, I have to mention here something uh, we really communicate with the parents in the best way because uh, we are together with them five hours, but then 19 hours with the family. Of course, families are trying their best because uh, if you have a disadvantaged children, you give your let's say most of your effort for their best. And that's why we really communicate, we really cooperate with the uh, parents that we work with in our school. And that's why uh, these three years time, we classify, we classify these students in three years through according to their, uh, let's say success and the steps they have achieved to make them go upper with the other, let's say, levels of the education. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, the next question is, uh, like you are dealing with uh, students having different abilities. So what is your most memorable moment for, from your teaching career? Sizin için en aklınızda kalan eğitim kariyerinizin anı olayı nedir? Ee, benim için en mutlu olduğum an, biz bu çocukların aileleriyle de iletişim halindeyiz ve hala koparmadık. Bir öğrencim dördüncü sınıfta, bir öğrencim ortaokula geçti. Bir öğrencim e, şu anda ikinci sınıfa geçti. E, ve onların hani bana özel günlerimde video göndermesi ya da ilk konuş, ilk okuma yazmaya başladıkları anlarda video göndermesi benim için gerçekten çok mutlu olduğum anlardan bir tanesiydi. Çünkü size geldiğinde çok e, hani çaresizler 
Yani başka okula hani kabul edilmemişler ve sizin de hani hocam lütfen başka bir okula göndermeyin bizi diyorlar. 3 yıl birlikte çalışmışsınız. O çocuk ilkokula başlamış. Akranlarıyla birlikte okuma yazma öğrenmiş ve size bir video gönderiyor öğretmenim ben okuma yazmaya başladım diye. Bu benim için hani aslında başarının bir göstergesi. Hani bir yol kat etmişsiniz, çalışmışsınız ve emeğinizin karşılığını almışsınız. Bu mutlu olduğum anlardan bir tanesiydi. Bir de e, hani yaptığım çalışmalar evet Türkiye'de değer görüyor ama uluslararası platformda hem Hindistan'da hem de İngiltere'de bu çalışmaların görülmesi e, ya da işte ödül almam gerçekten en mutlu olduğum anlardan bir tanesiydi. Um, as I have mentioned before, we are uh, in really good connection and in uh, really good contact with our parents and because that's because they are uh, helpless when they first start to our school because there are not many schools that their students will be registered as disadvantaged students to have the right education and luckily uh, I, just, I just don't have just one memory but many memories because uh, we I have students who I who I have worked with three years and now I have students in secondary school, I have students in primary school, and because I am the first one to handle their education for three years, each time for each week, I will be presented with a video from the parent about the progress of that very specific child in secondary school or in primary school. So I, in one night, maybe I will have my, this autistic student reading a book and telling me that, teacher, now I can read and showing me how she reads the book in primary school or one of my secondary students show, telling me or calling me for one of the days that very special day for us, like for example, and uh, giving me his best wishes for my birthday or telling me as, uh, let's say, poem, reading something, which is impossible for them when they were three years old or four years old. And I am lucky because uh, I can see that each time uh, I see them on, uh, on upper levels, achieving a new thing makes me really happy. Of course, I have to mention here, uh, I have also been awarded with uh, many, uh, for by many institutions about the work that I am doing, like uh, this, uh, award that I got from India. That really makes me uh, in a way more motivated because you know that it's not only uh, seen by the student that you are dealing with, but also some other people who are really different from whom you are dealing with, that they are just uh, admiring your work and they are just trying to learn from you which makes you feel more useful and more actively participating to have more, to help more, and uh, to adore yourself to your job more. So I really cannot give you a very specific moment other than these things, really. Yeah, uh, indeed, it's a great thing to win awards, but for the work you're doing, uh, no award is enough or sufficient, I would say. And indeed, it's very rewarding to see our students who are graduating and getting to the higher uh, secondary schools or colleges. It's very rewarding. It's more rewarding than these awards, I would say. Tabii ki öğrencilerinizin o tarz öğrencilerinizin ortaokula, ilkokula gidip mezun oluyor malaya kadar bir seviye telefon konusu olamaz. Yeah, uh, my uh, next question is, how are you dealing in these times of coronavirus, in this pandemic time? What? Ee, coronavirus günleri nasıl geçiyor? <gülüyor> evet, e, coronavirus de aslında işte okul öncesi öğrencilerimize ulaşmakta hiçbir problem yaşamadık. Yani onlarla eğitime e, online olarak devam ettik ama en büyük problemi otizmli öğrencilere ulaşmakta yaşadık. Çünkü onlar yüz yüze eğitimde e, başarı sağlayabilen öğrenciler. E, onların e, aileleri de çok zor durumdaydı bu dönemde. Ben okulumuzdaki rehber öğretmenle birlikte 
e, terapi günleri düzenledik. Ailelerle yüz yüze, ben ve rehber öğretmenimle birlikte bir Zoom ile e, belirli günlerde aileleri e, konuştuk. Yani bu dönemde neler yapabileceği ile ilgili. Çünkü e, biz aslında e, çok büyük bir başarı sağlamıştık. Birinci dönem ve ikinci dönemin başında e, epey bir yol kat etmiştik ama şu anda tekrar başa dönecekler o çocuklar. Yani, e, yani birçok şeyi unutmuş olacaklar. Yüz yüze eğitim onlar için çok önemli olduğu için. E, bundan sonra hani bu yeni dönemde hayata geçireceğim bir proje bu e, korona benim için çok büyük aslında bir ilham kaynağı oldu bir taraftan da. Çünkü e, bu e, otizmli öğrenciler aslında dijital Dijital içerikleri de çok seviyorlar. Telefon, tablet kullanmaktan çok hoşlanıyorlar. Ama hazır elimizde şu anda onların gelişimlerine yönelik dijital bir içerik yok maalesef. Bundan sonraki süreci de o öğrencilerimin bu şekilde zor durumda karşılaştıklarında dijital öğrenmelerine destek olacak içerik ve yazılım hazırlayacağım. Bunun için de harekete geçtim zaten. Evet. Uh, very advanced, really uh, some advantages and disadvantages for us and it's really interesting to see the process the period of that three months or four months what we have already experienced first of all with the regular students we already send activities that they can do at home uh, and it's not really a necessity for them to come to school because they can do the same activities at home but with the special students that we are working and uh, the disadvantaged ones, you have to have this communication through face-to-face. -face. And thanks to programs that we are using now, like Zoom, uh, we had the therapy uh, weeks, therapy days with those students' parents. So that our psychology teachers, me and our class teachers, dealing with those issues and uh, let's say uh, lessons, with those parents together and the children having a session all together. But of course, they were all online. And uh, although we were losing a lot of time because uh, it was three months, we have tried our best to maintain their connection with us during these three months, having these type of therapies, let's say every day, with our parents. We were lucky because they were not many, so we had those uh, students programmed for each week and it worked because uh, we got, let's say, the positive uh, feedbacks from those uh, parents. Second thing I want to mention here is uh, we already know that children love uh, those electronic tools, tablets, telephones and other stuff. And the uh, group that we are working with is advantage students are also really fond of those tools. That's why uh, it was a bit uh, in the positive side, making them to work, to deal, to check the activities through tablets, telephones, and other stuff. So it was not so difficult to convince them, let's do uh, something, some activity on tablets. I mean, it was something that they really fond of doing. And the only thing to the disadvantage that we had during this uh, period was, although uh, the students are really accompanied by those tools, tablets and other stuff, those special students don't have any digital content that they can have, that they can learn from. That is one thing missing. And what we are going to do from now on with my colleagues, with my team, and of course, uh, teachers like in this community, we should uh, prepare some digital tools that can be used by autistic children as well. Not only for everyone, but also for the disadvantaged ones to make them, uh, let's say, effectively using the digital tools through the programs, puzzles and other stuff, which are available online. So. Uh, I think we will spare some of our energy with that. And it seems that it will not end very soon because uh, everyone is talking about the second wave of the virus and other stuff. That means we must really focus on preparing and producing new materials for that electronic tools, which can be used online for those very special students. Yeah. Thank you very much for all these guidance. There were many questions on the Facebook when we began this conversation. 
but in the course of discussion you have answered all the questions that are there on the facebook as well so uh, one last question what will be your message to the teaching fraternity Evet, e, biz aslında bir sürü soru vardı ama konuşmalarımıza baktığınızda yani konuşmamızda şöyle baktık biz çoğu soruya konuşurken cevap vermişiz iyi oldu teşekkür ediyoruz e, öğretmenlerimize bir mesajınız var mı? Evet e, benim okulum itibariyle aslında biz imkansızlıklardan yola çıkarak e, bu aşamaya bu seviyeye kadar geldik. Önce ulusal sonra uluslararası olarak e, tanıttık. Hem otizm konusunda farkındalık oluşturduk. E, ben diyorum ki e, içlerindeki merakı hiçbir zaman kaybetmesinler. Ben 18 yıllık öğretmenim ama e, ilk günkü hani heyecanımla gidiyorum okula. Okulun kapısını o heyecanla açıyorum. E, heyecanını ve merakını hiçbir zaman kaybetmesinler. Ben bir de uluslararası arenada hani e, beni kabul etmezler. Hani bu çalışmaların çok yer bulmayacağını düşünüyordum. E, o açıdan da vazgeçmesinler. E, ben iyi bir farkındalık oluşturduğumu düşünüyorum bu konuda. Çok teşekkür ediyorum bu imkanı bana sağladıkları ve e, Hindistan'daki meslektaşlarımla e, beni buluşturdukları için çok teşekkür ediyorum kendilerine. E, onlara otizm konusunda yardımcı olabileceğim her noktada ben buradayım. Bana ulaşabilirler. Teşekkür ediyorum. Uh, first of all I want to uh, thank Uh, you for giving me that stage to uh, reach someone that uh, listening to what we are talking. And the first thing that I want to mention is whatever we have done, whatever we have achieved, just uh, pop out from the impossible. Because uh, we have students who cannot learn. We had uh, classrooms without any learning tools and we had teachers who are not experienced in the topic but luckily and thanks to the efforts that we did all together uh, we learned how to uh, engage with disadvantaged students we learned where to find the digital tools or the materials to be used for them and we learned how to communicate with parents of those children so that we can be the uh, helpful in the best way Uh, and in the when we have first began to that really it was nothing that we can imagine sometimes your job seems very easy for you because you know how to handle you you have that capacity that you have learned from the university but it's not like that when you start when you're on the field when you are in the classroom with your students the needs and the uh, outcomes the expectations are really different that's why That as teachers, we are learning every day. This is an ongoing process all the time. So uh, I just want to make uh, sure that everyone should know that whenever you think that it is you cannot do or there is nothing that you can use to overcome that very specific problem, it is the one who will choose, who will uh, so solve that very problem. We are the ones that we are going to find the right answers for the right problems. That's why I just uh, suggest all our colleagues, all our teachers that uh, if you just persist on what you are doing, if you just uh, try to search for what you need, then you will be really helpful for those ones who are in need. Just keep in mind that, please, those disadvantaged students, those very special students need our help because parents will not be always available always helpful for them as they are not really equipped with the psychological and the sociological background so uh, i want to thank everyone uh, for uh, having me here as a guest and i will be very happy to share what i have produced as materials through these channels and through your channel. And uh, thank you for having me here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ayman Bayan, and thank you, Yunus, sir. Uh, can we have the coordinator of uh, ATM Maharashtra on screen, Vikram, sir? Yeah. Uh, Narayan? Narayan is available? Yeah, Narayan, sir, please. I have sent a poster tomorrow's announce. You and Narayan, sir. 
Naren sir, can you join in? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, thanks, uh, Naren. Naren is available? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, continue. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I know actually it is a really a fantastic uh, session to, uh, we have with you. And uh, you are doing a very uh, great job. And uh, it is beyond the award. Actually, you are a finalist of, uh, for a Global Teacher Prize. Yeah. But the work you are doing, it is uh, beyond the award. You are doing a very great job. And uh, we all here uh, in India, not only in India, but the world, whoever uh, heard your work uh, through this platform uh, will definitely be motivated by your work. You are doing a, a fantastic job. The uh, Nowadays, uh, during this uh, corona pandemic, uh, pandemic uh, we have uh, suffered also uh, some kind of uh, autism. Uh, every individual also suffer with some kind of uh, autism. But uh, you are uh, doing this for your students. And uh, the way you are dealing with them, uh, the hard work and the passion uh, you are showing uh, to uh, teach them, that is uh, really very motivating and uh, very uh, hardworking. And uh, we are very thankful you to have with us uh, uh, here on Active Teachers Maharashtra. And a very special thanks to Yunus know, Senbe because uh, uh, as uh, we can't uh, understand uh, Turkish, uh, you are the one who is a very great inter uh, interpreter. And everybody there on Facebook also, uh, what we say, also con congratulate you that uh, you are a great interpreter. And uh, due to you, uh, we are managed to understand what uh, Ayanur is doing uh, in her field. And uh, also very thank you. Thank you very much to uh, today's moderator interviewer, Nadim Khan, sir, yeah. uh, who is uh, always uh, a great uh, moderator, uh, great interviewer, great uh, uh, person. Thanks to him also on the behalf of Active Teachers Maharashtra. And uh, thank you very much to all the viewers uh, there over watching on Facebook Live uh, for uh, uh, giving a lot of time and uh, energy to watch this. Thank you very much. Uh, just one. what was announcement? Uh, thanks, uh, Ainur and you know, sir. Uh, I know uh, we uh, we well known about your work on social media, Facebook, and WhatsApp and Twitter. And best wishes to you for your GTP 2020 award. And uh, uh, you know, sir, uh, you are a great person because of you. We enjoyed today's session, and I am proud of you, my big bro, uh, Nadim Bai, because uh, of Nadim, sir, we managed this session. And uh, tomorrow, sir, uh, announce Narayan, sir. Have you seen poster? Dada, you go ahead with the announcement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, I will. Uh, one minute, please. Bu arada sana bir teşekkür ediyorlar. Güzel yani ödülü hak ettiğini onlarda belirttiler. Çok güzel. And uh, tomorrow station will uh, uh, from Kenya, Lina Ho, Ailango. And subject to the topic, tomorrow's topic is uh, digital inclusion and girls in STEAM. So, yeah, uh, tomorrow's uh, topic is digital inclusion and girls in STEAM. And today's uh, speaker is, tomorrow, sorry, tomorrow's speaker is Lina Ainongo. Uh, thanks, Sajim, sir. Thanks again, all of you. Uh, I will uh, I will uh, use a regional language for uh, another uh, announce. Sarvanna Namaskar. Lokarats Aplya Samor Kahi Ek Vegabagre Session at Ahit. Echamode Aplya Samore Tai Chitra Lekache Sampadak Nanesh Maharao sir. Tasmorobar Dili Tuni Tahit Suleka Bhargo. Ani. That's what we're...
लवकरच आपण कवी कट्टा तिसरा भाग एक घेत आहोत आणि चौथ्या भागामध्ये आपण स्वर्गवासी कल्पना महाडिक कवी कट्ट्याचं समारोप आपण चौथ्या भागामध्ये एक निमंत्रित कवी निमंत्रित कवी यांना घेऊन आपण करणार आहोत तर सर्वांनी नेहमी उद्या आपला कवी कट्टा भाग तीन होणार आहे सर्वांनी उद्या वेळेवर वेळेवर हजर राहतात अशा अपेक्षा व्यक्त करतो अँड थँक्स अगेन आयनूर अँड युनुज भाई अँड नदीम भाई Yeah, you stay, Dada. I'm going to stop the live stream. Thanks okay. all for, uh, thanks to all the participants who joined us on the Facebook, not just from India, but uh, from Turkey and other European nations as well. There were many comments from Turkey and other parts of the world. So it's great. Thank you very much.